Hi, I'm Ami. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. In today's video, I'll be sharing 10 cheapest and affordable places or cities to live in Portugal. These cities are popular for their cheaper cost of living and housing for remote workers. Portugal is a popular country with digital nomads. You can be living in a cheaper city while working remotely for a multinational company in a bigger city. Portugal has a favorable climate, crypto-friendly regulations for those who are into crypto. It has a well-developed infrastructure, efficient public transportation, good health care, and it's safe to live in. In general, the cost of groceries is consistent in the whole of Portugal. I've said this several times on my channel, except in the touristic hotspots like Lisbon, Porto, and Agave. Therefore, if you're a digital nomad moving to Portugal, or you're coming through the D7 visa, or you're a retiree, anyone moving to Portugal, the first thing you should consider is rent prices. For instance, if you're a lover of Lisbon, the capital city of Portugal, you should know that Lisbon is well known for, you know, its high accommodation rate, but you can find some cheap apartments in a smaller city. And that is why I'm making this video. And I hope this video would give you an idea before your relocation. The first one I'll be talking about is Bragança. The population of Bragança is about 35,341 inhabitants and is located in the northern region of Portugal, very close to the border with Spain. Bragança is surrounded by beautiful natural parks. You know, the climate is quite different from other cities in Portugal. Therefore, if you be considering moving to this city, keep in mind that it's much colder in the winter. It's a very safe city to live in, good quality of life, and efficient public transportation. They have a popular university in this city called Instituto Politecnico de Bragança, IPB. I have a detailed video about it. I'll be leaving the link in my description box. One room in a shared apartment for students ranges from 120 to 170 euros every month. You can also get a one bedroom apartment from 250 to 300 euros every month. Basic utilities ranges from 100 to 106 euros per month. You can also get a bus pass for your transportation at 24 euros every month. There's access to good healthcare, theaters, museums, gardens, and shopping malls. Even restaurants is a very good city to live in, mostly for families. Annual income in Bragança is 12,936 euros. The second on my list is Vizio. This is one of the cheapest places to live in Portugal. It's a very historic city with a population of 100,000 people. It's a modern city with a lot of green spaces and a well-preserved historic centers. There's access to medical care, public transport is good as well, but there are no trains. Basic utilities is around 107 euros per month. There's access to shopping malls and restaurants. In fact, with 5 euros, you can eat a healthy meal at the restaurant. Bus pass for your transportation is around 29 euros per month. One room in a shared apartment is from 150 to 200 euros. You can also get a one bedroom apartment from 300 to 400 euros per month. Average annual income is 12,672 euros. Evra is another cheap city to live in Portugal. The population is about 56,596 people. It's also known as a city museum. It is one of the oldest cities in Europe. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you want a good taste of wine, then you should be in Evra. The city is located in the Aletenjo region. There's access to excellent health services, commerce structure, 
public transport, shopping malls, and affordable rent is a good option for families to live in. Evra is also known as a university town. There's a popular university in that city called Universidad do Evra, University of Evra. I also have a detailed video about the cost of studying in this university for international students. The link will be in my description box. One room in a shared apartment ranges from 150 to 220 euros every month. You can also get a two-bedroom apartment from 450 to 495 euros in the downtown, which is the city center. Outside the city center, you can get 355 euros to 400 euros per month. Basic utilities cost around 90 euros per month, and there's access to shopping malls and restaurants. With 8 euros, you can eat a comfortable, healthy meal at the restaurant. Average annual income is 13,464 euros. Villarreal is the capital and largest city in the Villarreal district. The population is 49,623 inhabitants located in the northern part of Portugal. The city is very close to Porto, about an hour drive. It's one of the coldest cities to live in Portugal. They have access to shopping malls and restaurants. With 8 euros, you can eat a healthy meal in the restaurant. They also have some interesting historic sites in Villarreal. There's this popular university in the city called Yutan, and their botanical garden is a must-see for everyone. One room in a shared apartment for students ranges from 165 euros to 200 euros per month. And outside downtown, you can get 140 euros and is inclusive of basic utilities. One bedroom apartment in downtown is from 325 euros to 400 euros. And outside downtown, you can get 200 to 300 euros per month. Basic utilities is around 100 euros and bus pass for your transportation is around 30 euros every month. Average annual income is 15,012 euros. Another affordable city to live in Portugal is Cadas do Reja, a UNESCO creative city located in the district of Lira. It's about one hour, 10 minutes drive from Lisbon and is becoming a favorite spot for expats in Portugal. They have a large expat community. There's access to good healthcare, there's access to shopping centers, restaurants, and so many tourist attractions in Kadaj. A lot to see and do. One room in a shared apartment in Kadash ranges from 140 to 200 euros every month and some of them are inclusive of the basic utilities. Two bedroom apartment ranges from 500 to 600 euros every month. Internet is around 30 euros every month. Uh, water, heating and electricity is around 90 euros. An average annual income in Kadash is 13,762 euros. Another cheapest city to live in Portugal is Lira, located in the central region of Portugal with a population of 128,640 inhabitants. Life in Lira is pretty cheap for expats. It is a perfect place for families. It's very close to the beach just a short drive away and many cultural points of reference just at the site of the beautiful castle and historic cathedral you will fall in love with this charming city one bedroom apartment for students is from 180 to 215 euros per month and sometimes they are inclusive of the internet electricity water and the heating bills Two bedroom apartment is from 500 to 550 euros and basic utilities is around 120 euros. Average annual income in Lira is 14,400 euros. Santarém is another city to live in Portugal, very close to Lisbon, about one hour drive. It's a good option for anyone who want to live in a smaller city but still be able to visit Lisbon at any time. 
residents have access to shopping centers, restaurants, historical monuments, medical centers, gardens and parks, is considered one of the affordable cities to live in Portugal. Honestly, it's a win for budgeting. There's a popular polytechnic university which attracts so many students every year. The cost of living in Santarem is affordable. Basic utilities is around 107 euros every month. And with 8 euros, you can eat a good meal in the restaurant. One room in a shared apartment is between 200 to 250 euros every month and one bedroom apartment in downtown is from 400 to 470 euros every month and your bus pass your monthly bus pass transportation can cost around 30 to 36 euros every month average annual income in santa Rem is about 13,200 euros guimarães is another affordable city to live in portugal is in the Braga district located in the northern Portugal. The population is around 162,572 people. It's also known as the birthplace of Portugal. It's one of the important historical cities in the northern part of Portugal. Historical cities like Castelo de Guimarães, in English we say Guimarães Castle, and Palace of Dube de Bragança. Guimarães played a crucial part in the foundation of Portugal as a country. One of the faculties of the University of Mayu is also located in Guimarães. Basic utilities in Guimarães is about 90 euros per month. One bedroom apartment is from 310 to 400 euros. There's access to good medical care, shopping centers, restaurants, gardens and parks and so forth. Average annual income in Guimarães is 12,060 euros. Viana de Castelo is another affordable city to live in Portugal. It's located in the northern coast of Portugal with a population of 88,628 people. It has a direct train connection with Porto. The city has a beautiful historic center and one of its main activities is fishing. The low cost of living and the good infrastructure is attractive for those looking for one of the cheapest cities to live in Portugal with a good quality of life. Distance to Lisbon is approximately 385 kilometers. With six euros, you can eat a healthy meal in the restaurant. One room apartment in downtown in Viano de Castelo is around 450 to 500 euros, while two bedroom apartment is from 550 to 600 euros in downtown and is even cheaper when you go outside the city center. Basic utilities in Viano de Castelo is around 95 euros and average annual income is 13,260 euros. The last city on my list is Portimao. It's also one of the affordable cities to live in Portugal with a population of 38,487 people. Portimao is in the warmest region of the city called Agave. Portimao is the ideal destination if you want to be close to the most beautiful beaches on the Portuguese coast. It's a small city that can offer a great quality of life with all kinds of services like hospitals, shops, and leisure. It's also one of the best cities in Agave. Thousands of tourists visit this city every year. Baltimore has so many English speakers as residents. With 9 euros, you can eat a healthy meal in the restaurant. Bus card for your transportation every month is around 24 euros and basic utilities is around 115 euros you can also get a one bedroom apartment in the city center around 500 to 570 euros and it's even cheaper like 400 to 450 euros when you go outside the city center average annual income in Paltimo is 15,060 euros i hope this video gives you an idea before your relocation 
If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button to join this great community. You can also share this video with your friends and loved ones. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>